everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Hades. Can I tell you something? I played Hades on stream yesterday. You know what that means? I got some nectar that can be given out. Three nectar. Seven decanters of brandy. Two titan blood. Two diamonds. Five golden rings. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. Okay, hold on. Infernal arms. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, Achilles needs a boon. Cerberus needs many. Dusa needs a boon. Skelly needs a boon. Okay, so check this out. This is the greatest day of your life right here. Free nectar. This really is for me. Thanks so much, sir. Myrmidon Bracer. Merman! Merman! You guys see, you've probably seen Zoolander, you don't need me to tell you that. Um, hold on. Dusa, you hanging out here? Hold on. We can renovate as well. In each infernal trove contains more. Honestly, that seems pretty solid. Poor me. Collecting nectar gives a random boon plus one level. Finally, a reason to actually be excited to collect nectar. Yo, here's a gift for you, Dusa. Harpy Feather Duster. We're going to take a look at all these, obviously. And we'll give one to the skeleton as well. Look at that. NL's actually... He's putting in the work. He's learning something. Deep Pockets. Each rank gives you 10 gold at the start of your run. Hold on, we only have 6 keys. I've heard Privilege Status is actually really good. Um, plus 25% damage against foes affected by two status curse effects. I'm assuming status curse is like poison, doom, weak, you know, rupture, whatever. But why don't we just start here? I mean, we got gold burning a hole in our pocket. And all of a sudden, we're starting every run with 90 gold, which is actually like pretty sick. It's not quite a boon, but it's close. And I think we're due for uh, maybe a bow and arrow run. See into your past. Better crit chance or... Hold on. Maybe what about this? Your cast loads into your next attack, firing on impact. No, your cast... Your, okay. Oh, no, I get it. All right, whatever, dude. Let's give it a freaking try. Grant me the aspect of Hera or whatever. You press B, it loads a cast into your next shot. Understood. Also, where the heck's my skeleton, dude? I'm supposed to speak with the skeleton? to go. I think I'm ready. May I speak to the skeleton, please? I have a gift for him. He's back. Yo, take this. Lucky tooth. All right. I'm ready. So we got a bracer, a feather duster, and a tooth. Let's see what's good here. I see the bra- Oh, they're all here. Broken urns have a 2% chance to contain health. It's not necessarily bad. When you take lethal damage, miraculously survive with 50 HP once per escape attempt. I do like that. Tramps and rubble falling from pillars deal 200% damage from foes. I don't really like that. Oh, this is uh, the Myrmidon Bracer. Sorry, we hadn't... What was this? Shattered Shackle from Sisyphus. Take minus 20% damage from the front, but 10% plus from the back. It doesn't really interest me that much, to be honest. Just looking at stuff that, that might be a little bit more interesting. You know, I think we'll just try uh start your next escape attempt with a, a hundred extra gold. Okay. It 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 has an obvious level of usefulness that I think is uh you know justifiable. We'll we'll give it a try. And then I'm thinking, I would rather see more enemies than more HP on enemies. Yeah, alright. And get out using the heart-seeking bow. Which I'm assuming that means we have like the aspect of Aphrodite attached to it or something. Anyway, what do you got for me first? A Zeus Boon. Zeus Boon Boogie. Brooks and Dunn. You guys like Brooks and Dunn? 
Your special causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. Your cast is a burst of chain lightning that bounces between foes. Your dash causes... Oh, that's so little damage. I'm gonna try it on the cast. And then I've loaded three casts into my bow. Alright, that actually seems pretty sweet. <laughs> so we now have our, our basic attack will also yeet a cast into existence. We don't necessarily have to use all three casts at once. We could, you know, we could use two or, or even none. Oh, and it only works on the basic. I was kind of hoping it would work on the special as well, but that seems interesting. I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm getting a hang, or the, the handle, I should say, on, you know... The, the way that those aspects even worth to be or even work to begin with I should say um you know it's a controversial statement I'm not an enormous fan yo ho -ho! I'm not an enormous fan of the uh, maximum HP benefit of course you know it's always nice to have more HP but I think I'd rather most of the time have a little bit more cash. Just me personally. Because cash could be anything. It could even be more HP. Now the gems, on the other hand... Not that interested, but... We do always need those to get the improvements nonetheless. So, for now, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And it, it definitely makes our next attack a lot better. And I'm learning a, a few things on the fly here. One of the obvious things I'm learning is... Honestly, for the most part, you don't have to put three casts in every shot. That was bad. If you put one cast in every shot, you're going to be doing gangbusters. Thank you for the gold. Thank you for thank you for the gold. Pomegranate. As I've said many times, I don't really respect the pomegranate. And by many times, I mean many times recently. Prior to that, I was like, oh my god, a pomegranate? Sign me up, dude. And to be fair, you know how expensive those things can get in the grocery store? Very is the answer in case you're you're not privy to the economics of the pomegranate. Don't really have any choice there, so we'll just take what we can get. I feel like we've gotten really gated on this floor. Haven't had too many opportunities for, for choice unless I've been missing them, which is uh, always a very real possibility. But hey, here's the thing. Am I disappointed to have uh, okay. an upgraded cast? Not really, considering how beneficial it's been for us. I mean, the rooms are going down. It's only been like three minutes on this floor. Okay, an Ares boon. I'm trying to think. Uh, and it's mini boss time as well. Trying to think what we might want to pick up. They're all Doom effects, right? I ran it by chat yesterday. They seem to feel the same way. For the most part, the conventional wisdom right now is that the bow special is pretty bad, but maybe has some uses like applying uh, status effects. And Doom is a is a status effect, so maybe we'll we'll take a look at this and see how. See how things look. I really don't want to replace our uh, our existing cast because it's all we got. <laughs> Even though it is a faded prophecy, so we'll take our special inflicts doom, and we will continue to stack up gemstones. I mean, I'm telling you, I just like give me a shop or something, dude. All right, so now start to factor that Y button into the conversation here. I mean, honestly, the Doom damage is nothing to sneeze at. And it gives our special a little bit more, you know, play, I think. I'll hang on to these. Nothing special. Another pomegranate? Honestly, <laughs> I feel like this floor kind of sucks. And you know what? Although it sounds negative, I think it's a huge positive that we're able to even say that. Because previously, prior to this point, I've just been like, I don't know what sucks and what's good. I'm just playing the game. Now I'm like, I have preferences, and this is unacceptable. I've never been treated like this before. But I do really like this run, in spite of the, you know, relatively 
basic impacts of, uh, you know, a lot of our stuff so far. I think we, it's a very easy to understand run right now, you know? It's just, uh, it's just damage. I think we'll go straight for the cast again, even though you do get a, you know, a better benefit proportionally if you, uh, if you go level 1 to level 2 instead of level 2 to level 3. I'm starting to realize that in all likelihood, we're not going to get another boon before the end of this floor. We might get one if we get lucky. This is like, the amount of damage we're doing is kind of nuts to me. Now, if only we could get who was it? Hermes that has the boon where your your casts come back to you, because now, like as we shoot them, we lose them forever. But well, until we walk over them, shop or double boon. We have so much money, but we can always spend later. I think this is a great time to get like a double boon effect, honestly. And there's a trove here. I'm trying not to miss those, and you know, largely failing miserably. But I refuse, even though it's a higher level too. Um... I will take the, the attack inflicts doom. I think that makes our, our X button attack so good, even though the, the tier level of it is horrible. And, you know, maybe we'll get, or like, rarity level of it is horrible, I should say. And maybe we'll get a chance to actually, like, level that up via Eurydice on the next floor. Wishful thinking, maybe, but... You know, at least, at least we got a way forward. Instead of just, you know... Ah, you know, I like the effect, but I don't really understand the context. Now we we sort of understand what's going on here to a greater extent. What do you got for me? Stop. Your special does lightning damage. Okay, let's do chain lightning bounces more times. We can restore some HP. I think this should be a lot easier than the trial we just faced, so I'm, I'm pretty for it. Help. <laughs> Still for it. He's gonna get doomed. Nine left. Not a problem. Maybe our damage isn't quite at the level I originally was hopeful it would be. Four left. That should do it. Close. 76 HP coming our way. That's, that's very solid. Certainly I can live with it. Do you think we need more keys? We did just buy the new key level. Key uh, uh -oh. choice, I should say. I I'd find you here. This is just survival. Survival is A-OK -okay by me. I don't know, let's try to, let's load up all the casts here. Against a single target, it's not that impressive. I oh, never mind, it, it kind of rules. <laughs> I clearly did not know what I was talking about earlier. Ready. And instead, Maybe for rooms like this, the more casts we can stack up, the, the better we're going to be. I mean, we're not even supposed to kill these enemies, so I think it's going pretty well. Why am I killing them then, then I should say? Um, it's, a, it's a gold thing. You know, you, you do pick up a little bit of gold for our trouble here, I think. Is it really uh, something we should be concerning ourselves with? Probably not, considering... The amount of HP we lost, but you know you gotta you gotta have fun for you too. My personal thinking right now, we could always spend more money on a later shop. Let, let's take the free boon for now. I like Poseidon's stuff too. I like his call. Yeah, I'll I'll take his uh, I'll take his epic level call. I like that. So I think this is going just fine. So, what's, what's the game plan here? Honestly, we don't really have a, a super good counter for this boss. It's pretty much, in my opinion, just going to come down to keep Doom on her at all times. When enemies spawn, we can always throw a, you know, a cast into our attack. Helps me a lot that she just got hit by the trap as well. 
I mean, it's, it's going pretty well. <laughs> okay. You probably don't need me to say that, but... At this point, this is a boss that we've... Relatively sorted out for ourselves. I hope. It's always dangerous to say that before the fight's actually over. I don't know what happened, but... Picked up a lot of damage in there. And you are dead. That was very simple. No problems thus far. I like this aspect. Low, getting a, a free... It's not free, really, but you know what I mean. Getting a cast with your shots. Nice little burst of discrete damage. Alright, so... I'll tell you what I need on this run. So tell me what you need, what you really, really need. I need a, I need a increased chance of a Chaos Gate spawning. Sure, absolutely. For 40 gold, this is the easiest money I've ever spent. The one thing to note, we definitely do not want to be unable to cast or shoot. We could probably live without casting. But shooting is not, it's a no-go. The Asphodel Meadows. Uh, because... You know, we, we can shoot without casting. We can't cast without shooting right now, so... I don't want to be, be stuck using my special exclusively. Alright, what do you got for me? I think these are all pretty bad, but this is kind of a nice get for us. 32%... Uh, oh, no, 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 this is fine. 32% damage bonus on our basic attack. We can't hit the Y button. That's alright, because B plus X kind of equals Y for us right now. Hello, enemies? Are you here? Wait, make us. It's alright, just don't hit the Y button. This is a floor, for certain. I will be looking for serious improvement. I don't feel like we're underpowered. But I definitely do feel like we... We're not quite at like easy win territory, which is nice, you know, it means we still got a lot of, you know, we got skin in the game. Hopefully, we can use that to our advantage instead of our disadvantage. Don't even try it! That was good. Okay, free nectar. And a trove that wants us to gain... Yeah, we will do it, and we'll probably go for the Daedalus Hammer. The thing is, what I'm of two minds, right? What's the point of getting money if you're not going to go to the shop? But on the other hand, what's the point of going to multiple shops if you could spend the same amount of money on one shop and get more rewards from other rooms? You know what I mean? So I'm kind of trying to run the balance right now. The Daedalus Hammer is a very respected place to go. Even if I don't fully understand its efficacy. I'm willing to accept that I'm the strange one there. 85 influence? Sure. No pressure. And we're gonna go Daedalus for sure. Yeah. I mean, these, these are three good choices, but I think the Daedalus... See what it does for me right now. And we, we got one more room until, uh, two more rooms until we can actually use our special again. I just tried to, like, attack as if I was using the sword. That's alright, you're in a lot of trouble. Ready. Wow! Skull crushers. How do you know there's skull crushers? They haven't even spawned yet, brother. Very resinous. Hold on, this guy's got to go first. Very nice. We got a d triple cast left for this guy. Don't move, please. Thank you. I really need you to stay still so I could do this. Daedalus hammer. It's a very tough choice. Here's the thing, we've never taken this, so I'm gonna take that. But I don't think it's the best option. Zeus, Poseidon, we can't do this. We eat 10 heat, are you crazy? Um, I like the, well, 
I was gonna say I like the Poseidon benefits, but then we already have some Zeus boons that could maybe get some Chain Lightning uh, synergies, so, so why not go along with that? The barge of death is always here for me. Doesn't bother me. I do like the Poseidon benefits, though. The knockback into walls is so nice. So we cannot use our special yet to test the Daedalus Hammer. Well, we can, but it'll cost us uh, HP I don't want to lose. Um, so we won't test that benefit for a bit, but mostly I took it for the Prophecy, and also, like, I feel like the Power Shot AoE would be better for the way that we're trying to run this run, because our, our X button attack is really, like, is really good. It's kind of our, our go-to right now. And the, the call is so <laughs> short. If you don't have the superior god gauge. Oh, you didn't spring for the superior god gauge? <laughs> Let me guess, they tried to pitch you on the extended warranty. Very nice. How can you not love the kind of chain lightning damage we're getting out of this? I mean, come on. Are you crazy? I just walked over here. Just tunnel vision a little bit more than you should. Leads to a situation you get yourself in a little bit of trouble. But we've taken... Without being overly cocky. You think this is the least damage we've ever taken? Uh, up to this point on a run? We have not even been, like, close to concerned about our HP. Yeah, I think we definitely want a dash that does anything. <laughs> Those Zeus, Zeus benefits struck me as a little bit... Suboptimal. It's okay. I do appreciate our first uh, max HP improvement. And I was I thought this was a shop. It's just gold. Keep in mind right now, we got a lot of potential energy. Our kinetic energy, I wouldn't say it's on the low side. And there is a shop as well. But uh, what I mean is we have so much gold right now. You probably shouldn't consider gold to be like the equivalent of some unrealized boons, but it is kind of the way I'm looking at it right now, to be honest with you. We have like four boons in our bank account. Oh, and we can use our special now, too. So our, that means our basic attack is doing more damage, which is, you know, 32% ain't nothing to write home about, maybe, to a huge degree, but... Definitely not bad. Another hundred gold for us. And what do you have? Nothing that interests me. I'm really looking for chaos gates. Those are the big ones. Shop or pomegranate? This is one time I will go for the shop. I, I really want to get some big boon advantages. And we're almost at the... I mean, we are at the boss, basically, anyway. Uh, we get an Ares boon. Could be better. Doom does more damage after a longer time, or everything gets an 8% damage bonus. I'm just gonna take the obvious, like, decent effect. That's very cheap as well. Um, may I open my codex temporarily? What do you have to say? Learn more by vanquishing her. 15 times? Are you crazy? Where, where's my man? Oh, there he is. Sharon. Learn more by having conversations with Sharon. I can do that, I suppose. He said, ha, ha, ha. And then my codex has been updated. <laughs> Hold on. Still working my way through this. 15 conversations with Sharon. Are you insane? Also, that being said, I do think he needs a gift. Why don't you go ahead and take this? You enjoy that, mate. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, okay. Maybe that saved us one conversation. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it, but here we are. All right. Unconcerned right now about this guy. Doom effects, you know, is compound interest. 
It wor works faster than you would expect. Start stacking up that damage early. We got little to concern ourselves with. Okay, there you go. Now, I think just straight up load the cast. Get ready for maybe a power shot. Make the best possible use. It's still slower than I would like. But it's not... It's not bad. It's just slower than I'd like. If you don't mind, you know, like, the Y button attack probably has higher DPS against a single enemy. If you're willing to get in there. But it is a little riskier. as a, a, a charge up time associated. Let me tell you, next floor, that you have my... Ooh, that was not that very much damage, but embarrassing nonetheless. You have my word on the next floor. I will endeavor to try to get a Hades boon. Did I say Hades? I meant Hermes. I will endeavor to get a Hermes boon. I think even just getting one extra dash before cooldown is super useful, but obviously if you can get two dashes, three dashes, even a number higher than that, the likes of which I can't even understand nor appreciate. <laughs> three, perhaps even four dashes before cooldown? Would, you know, obviously be very nice. Did I really miss with every single shot of the cast? I did. My cast went up to the top. Hey, easy there. Okay, load him up. There he is. This is a perfect time. Take advantage of that. Tons of time left. Not very much time left, but did a, a staggering amount of advantage while it existed. I still think it's BS. I think sometimes if you kill them too quickly, you get locked into this situation right here. The game punishes you for your success and says, you killed him so fast I thought you didn't even spawn him. I don't know if that's true, but the, the the hallmark of any good YouTuber is complaining about things that are not in your area of expertise, so I just don't want to feel left out. Look, I'll, I'll give it to you straight. We have taken more damage than I would like to have taken, but we've taken very little damage. The truth of the matter is, the grass is always higher HP on the other side. I always wish we had taken less damage than we took, but we have not even been close to using a Death's Defiance prior to this point, and, and including this point as is, so. All right, we have gotten a codex increase. We still have 500 gold, which is just disgusting, so if I could buy another uh, Existence of Chaos, I would be super stoked. The Hydra filled him again, did it? It most certainly did. I know, you're like, come on, go for the trove. I don't know, but a trove is just like paying someone for more work. <laughs> no thank you. That doesn't make any sense, Bernie. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just like to throw in a little punchline at the end sometimes. Hermes? I, uh, look, Daedalus Hammer is, is well respected. I said one room ago, if we see Hermes, we're taking it, okay? And I'm, I'm a man of my word, in this case, alone. Okay, we're learning. Against these fools, might I interest you in merely a single lightning per cast? Whatever. We got a hit, but we learned... Use some AoE to put Doom on these fools. Can you stay away from me, please? You're done. 
You're toasted. You're also toasted, you just don't know it yet. Consider that toast. A little toast coming your way. Oh yes. Disguised or otherwise. Hard to run with the Sword of Damocles hanging over your head. Okay, good benefit, please. After using a call, gain dodge chance and move speed for 8 seconds. We're going to take it because we've never had it. Um, and I, the other thing is, I feel like the other benefits were not really that good. <laughs> so we'll, we'll take Daedalus Hammer next, for sure. For certain. One cast per shot. One cast per shot. You're gonna get there. You're gonna get there. You got nothing. You got nothing. What did I tell you? So I'm trying to see how advantageous it is. You know, we get dodge chance of move speed after we use our call. Is that actually worth anything, or is it pretending? It does seem nice, but does it mean we want to use our call? You know, do we want to spam it? Hard to tell. Honestly, sure. We've never taken it. Special pierces. And we're, this time we're going to start to put money into the shop, I think. No blessing or no boon is absolutely horrible. Um, call does do more damage. I think that it's one of the rare times I'll I'll take you up on that offer, and I'll spend fifty to get back to full HP. Death's defiance is of you know is of critical importance right now, so don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth on that one, or God forbid, in the mouth on that one. I, jeez Louise. Don't know how I'd live with myself. That's okay. I'm not worried about one coming back, okay? What I'm worried about is making sure this butterfly, like, eats it to a huge degree. I would really like my casts to return to me. That's, like, my number one... If we're making Desert Island, like, desired lists here, top five, you know, boons I would take to a Desert Island right now, how about, you know, cast returns to you? That that would do more work than you might expect. I could get into spam territory. And that in Hades, that's where I like to be. I like to be sort of mindlessly just pressing all of my buttons. Seems to... Seems to do solid work for me. Relative to the, the opposite. That could have gone worse, honestly. Could have gone better, but it could have gone worse. Alright, Aphrodite. Uh, it's heroic, but I think that call kind of sucks. I also think these kind of suck. Um, but let's just take 15% damage reduction. And you're going to give me... You're not going to give me a free Death's Defiance, because I haven't used a Death's Defiance yet, but I am eager to see what your potential benefit is here. Yeah, okay. Why don't you just basically replenish my HP? That sounds nice. Aphrodite, gold. We still have enough gold that, in my opinion, I'm like, let's stack up as many, you know, probably passive benefits as we can. I'm still, like, begging for a dash. One extra dash. And I got the whole world in my freaking hands, dude. Okay, we're going for a one-hit incredible here. Mission sort of accomplished. Shouldn't be getting hit by that in the, in the modern day. I got a new problem with my call, which is I, I keep getting hit immediately after using it because I misjudged the length of the invincibility. 
That went just fine, though. Still, HP could be better, but we're getting a lot. When slain foes damage other nearby foes and inflict weak. Seems like a nice AoE improvement for us here. Gold or max HP. I'm also, I mean, you know, even my thirst for gold has its limits. I think early we prefer gold. As the game goes on, you can judge it on a case-by-case -case basis. Like, what's your max HP at? Ours right now, pretty freaking low. This is a situation you're, you're you're making smart calls. Situationally, and that goes to show you, like you know, we've learned a lot about Hades. I know I've said it many times already, but we've learned a lot about Hades in a, in a relatively short time frame. We're picking up the systems bit by bit, and dare I say, starting to put together. I don't want to call it a streak. But every run feels like it has the potential to make it. Which honestly, for me, means we should be cranking that heat up as, as high as it'll go. Pretty poor Poseidon play there. Okay. It's a problem. I do not like... Butterfly spawners. You guys know that old country song by John Michael Montgomery? Love in the morning. Butterfly spawners and then... Uh, no, all right. Just just me. Just me and, you know, I mean, a hundred million North Americans probably who lived through the mid to late 1990s. But for now, that's, that, that's just me. Fair enough. Stop hitting me, okay? This is my video... You're not allowed to hit me anymore. Just keep getting toasted by my special. If you have any semblance of goodness in you, you'll just keep getting toasted by the special, please. That'll do. Anyway, our HP is fine. This is our last room, I think, of extra HP coming our way, but... Yikes. You have to hate that. <laughs> that is not... Oh, maybe we got one more choice here, maybe. Um, it's just not the... It's not the benefit we're looking for. To put it politely. I, I would probably... You know, gems and, you know, purple crystals. Least valuable possible upgrade by far right now. Oh, no. We still have many rooms for our HP. Which is honestly really nice. I feel like I squandered the first couple, including this one. But you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, and the award for worst use of your call. It's no, but there were a lot of good competitors. This It was a strong... It's you. Oh, no. Okay, well, perhaps deserve it. I do like the cascading effect we get from killing an enemy. And that enemy kills another enemy with, like, the Aphrodite AoE. And then that, uh, you know, and so on and so forth as, as long as possible, ideally. No, don't spawn a new thing. Whatever, we got him. Took long enough. For safekeeping. We'll still go shop. In this one, we'll go shop. And it's just before the boss as is. Thankfully, we do actually get a boon this time. Um, yes, we will take... Uh, sadly, I think, after you take damage, damage nearby foes and inflict weak... It's not great, but it's it doesn't have to be great if that makes sense. Let's have four more lightning bounces, and honestly, we're still pretty well off here. Is Theseus and the Minotaur? Do we have a unique Theseus and the Minotaur strategy at the present moment? No, we do not. Our unique Theseus and the Minotaur strategy is apply 
Doom as much as possible. And do not be afraid to use your call. In fact, if you give me a moment, I got a I got an obstruction block in the the call meter. Prior to this moment, hasn't really been a huge problem. One of those things that could manifest itself as a huge problem as time goes on. So in my head, I'm like, save that call for Bull Rush. Maybe stop standing right next to him, too, when you have, like, a bow. Go ahead, shoot. Good one. I, I don't know. I just can't stop standing next to him. The heart wants what it wants, dude. Slow and steady does pretty decently in the race, if I remember from the novel. Gotta say, the fight gets a lot easier when he refuses to bull rush ever. So we're just waiting for, basically at this point, I was just gonna say a greater god smack him into the freaking wall, dude. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> like, that almost... I don't know, it took out probably three quarters of half of his health bar. How did we manage to make that one happen? This, as of right now... Could be the best Theseus in the Minotaur fight we've ever had. It's in the running. I can't believe that hit me. I feel like we have a negative. We don't really have great uh, burst damage against a single enemy. The casts are helping, don't get me wrong. If you can land a power piercing shot. That's alright, I'm gonna alt tab back in and not get hit. Thank you. Okay. Cause you get your cast back immediately after on this son of a gun right here. So I mean I, I think you're kinda seeing the dream scenario. It might take us 100 years. Haven't figured that part out yet. So in my brain, I'm like, go faster. But, sorry, in my heart, I'm like, go faster. In my brain, I'm like, slow it down. Because if you can just get the, your death's defiance to live here, that's worth more than you could ever possibly imagine. Wow. Okay. Stay cool. You almost got that full god gauge. Ready. You don't need to get it back immediately. I can't believe. I mean, I can believe it. I'm just annoyed. <laughs> Not great! Basically, in my opinion, got saved by the grace of God on that one. Go ahead. If we could just get him up against the wall when we have our max god gauge, 
He's gonna feel the heat. He's done it! I was gonna get hit there. I think it had to be done. Get against the wall! Let's go! <laughs> okay, not not the gress the greatest fight. However, Darkness. to do that, um, while not losing a death defiance was very solid. I shall stop you by my own hand and my fist. Yes, please. So now we are a little light on capital, but we should, even for 201, we should be able to buy a boon or a pomegranate right off the bat. I really feel like at this point, uh, max HP is amongst the most valuable possible gets, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I will buy an Aphrodite boon first. I really don't want to replace anything. So that's that's suboptimal and, and fairly poor, but I'll go with it. Um, no max HP rewards is kind of a bummer. I think I'm going to go for an Ares boon, and uh, I think that this floor is going to stink a little bit. But we'll see. In fact, I, I think... This floor and the Hades fight will kind of stink. Okay, maybe just stay close to the fountain. You know what's up. Great work, great work. <laughs> just staying away from the, the poison whenever possible. We do have some big positives here. Our dash does enough damage to kill the rats, I think. Okay, that was dumb. We didn't take much. Only maybe, I don't know, 15 damage maximum. Very, very important. Stay away from the poison pools on the ground. Just dash, forehead. There's no need to use that god gauge yet. You didn't get poison, incredible. You know what? That seemed like a very good time to actually use the god gauge. You just wanna really like, the way I look at this right now is if you can just get him close enough that you can set off like a chain reaction with that Aphrodite after death AOE, like life is but a dream, dude. Olympus, I accept this message. I'm just gonna take Doom does more damage. Uh, and I sort of stand by it, even though I'm not particularly stoked. Money-wise, we are at... I Give me a max HP over a pomegranate right now, for sure. Might look a little wonky, but I think we're constructing the kind of run that, that can be won. You know, not every run is comprised of the same sort of DNA. I think we're taking the cowardly steps that need to be taken on a, uh, a bow and arrow run. A bow and arrow run, I might add, that's not bad. You're in a world of hurt. But this would also, I think at this point, we're not really interested. Well, I was going to say we're not interested in spending more money. That's not true now that I see that there's like a little shop here. Although, the odds of us being able to afford anything at all, really, are essentially nil. I would love to buy... Well, at this point, you really want to go for a Chaos Gate? <laughs> Fair enough. Um, good thinking. Get me out of here. Beautiful. I think that's, that's the best thing we could have hoped for. Um, foes pushed by your knockaway effects are also struck by lightning. That's really only our ults. But at this point... 
see. We might as well go for that, I think. None of the other ones really struck my fancy, and we are, thankfully, out of this floor ASAP. I think our best chance against this guy. You, you keep moving, you use your casts when they're available, and, uh, I mean, it's the same t thing every time, right? Dodge, use your casts. I do feel like we've done very well on this run. We got two Death's Defiances. Um, arguably, should we have ever found ourselves... Well, I don't really want to go in that route. Because I think... I think, without being too negative... We didn't get the chance, in my opinion, to get fed on this run. Our aspect on the weapon is really nice. But our actual, like, the overall quality of our boons, I think, is, is pretty subpar right now, to be honest. That's fair. Shouldn't have been, shouldn't have been there. Ready. Got a little lucky on that one, too. We're handling the fight just fine, but it is very, very slow. On the damage output level right now. Stay limber. You gotta dodge the area of effect abilities. Okay. See, he's going fine. In my opinion, though, we're gonna end up relying so much on the greater god gauge. Just take this for now as an opportunity. An opportunity to get a little bit more practice on the Hades powers. The Hades patterns. That sucks. Because we were we were holding it down up to that point. You're just so freaky danky, dude! Yep, that's that's very fair, but I am annoyed. Okay, you gotta put that damage on Hades himself. That hurts. I want to be clear. I think we. I think we still did a decent amount. Really thought we were screwed on that dodge. Not as much as I would like. And I'm disappointed. Go ahead. I'm disappointed because the... Uh, the Cass... Unfortunately still gets stuck in this guy. If they bounced out of him, our damage output would be so much higher. I mean, they do bounce out of him. It just takes, you know, the requisite length of time. 2 HP before our first Death's Defiance usage. Definitely a good opportunity. In my opinion. Stack up some damage. Fair enough. I was going to say, get this God Gauge as high as possible. Do not use it to buy yourself an extra 10 seconds of life. Good dodges. Surprisingly good, and then followed by bad dodges, but... You're so close to that greater god gauge. And honestly... Personal take right now, use one little bit of it right... Oh, that was so bad. I'm incorrect and I apologize. But my thinking was, we don't want to use... Oh, he's done. We don't want to use our greater god gauge for this phase of Hades, because my man's toasted. We want to build it up ASAP right now and then pop it out on him again. But I still think we got, you know, a lot of fear in my heart. <laughs> Not a good start. But taking damage does fill the god gauge as well. Get him. 
send him into the, into the wall, please. Okay, that was solid, dude. Run for your life here. Okay. My dudes. That one hurt me. I was just about to say, I'm not going to say we're guaranteed to win, but we're looking good. Oh my god. How about you have a bow, stand far away. You ever consider applying that logic? I got stuck on the wall. I got stuck on the wall. It was a great run either way, but what a disappointing way to have it end. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Yikes. See ya.